amino acids coming up from the F helix. So if I align on the F helix, um, the F helix main chain atoms is what I did. I didn't use the side chain atoms. Then I get this, and, and I chose active conformation kinases with a closed glycine loop. So I've got this conserved, hopefully conserved structural core. Um, I took residues that were homologous to protein kinase A41 to 297. This is how the F helix alignment looks. It's pretty good. Um, you can see the glycine loop here is, is tight. And the thing that got, and the active site cleft aligns very tightly, so it just kind of shows the structural, how, how strong a structural element the F helix is. And the thing that Susan liked, yes? On the left side, what's the significant deviation from the other? Like, okay, so what's the other thing that you're going to do with the class? So, with a site, this, this is 30 angstroms across. Okay. So, to be honest, I was really pleasantly surprised when I came out with with everything within like an angstrom or two from the K-Mean Center. Right? The one that's probably the most different is C Stark. I don't know how you get at statistical significance there. Um, I just looked at it and went, oh my god. <laughs> so um, the thing that I think is really cool and what I wanted to show what this background is showing you is I get when I looked at pocket, pockets around the active site cleft, this was one computational cluster on the serine threonine kinases only. This is a cluster on the tyrosine kinases only. So this method discriminates between the shape at the binding site of the serine threonine kinase and the tyrosine kinase. A couple of these had substrates co-crystallized. So this is ATP is here in the pocket. This red is PKI. The, on the, the PKA pocket, the P minus 2 and P minus 6 arginines are what are coming into the pocket, so it's substrate recognition. On the tyrosine kinase side, insulin receptor kinase had a synthetic substrate co crystallized. And when I looked at the insulin receptor kinase pocket, what I found is that it forms a shelf for the tyrosine backbone. So you've got this, you've got this added room in the tyrosine kinase active site cleft that makes room for this bulky substrate and it lets the um, lets the substrate fit into the kinase. Whereas the serine threonine is over here in substrate recognition. So I thought that was nifty. The other thing that Susan thought was really nifty are the C helices. So I get clusters of points above and below the C helix of six different kinases in the group. And when you look at the decorations that various kinases have, I already showed you protein kinase A with the NC terminal tails. The other kinases have different ways to solve the same problem. So this is death associated protein kinase, and its N terminal tail comes into the C helix. Bottom pocket is open. And we've got uh, ERK2, uh, MAP kinase, with the C terminal tail coming in on both sides of the kinase. And then if we look at cyclin and CDK, Here's yet another mechanism. Different amino acids, different specificity. Cyclin doesn't turn on DAPK. But we've got this same spatially conserved motif of pockets above and below the C helix and something coming in to lock the C helix down and hold the kinase in active position. So Susan thought that was really cool. And those were the slides that she uh, she wanted me to show you this late in the day. So. I think I'll I think I'll end here and uh, thank you for your brief attention. And um, oh, I can't can't finish without getting everybody's names up who, who worked on the work. Um, this was part of, this was part of my graduate work in the night's lab. Susan Taylor has been a tremendous support looking at kinases. Alexander and Cannon both helped me a lot. Joel gave me this wonderful high resolution PKA structure, and my team helped with some of the program. Any questions for Lee? Yes, I'm curious. So, that 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 that's the same I haven't looked at the in structures yet. Because we're we're this level. Those are turned on the There's a tiny switch to the tail.